Today I'm going to talk about salvaging laptop batteries and specifically talk about salvaging these 18650 cells from these laptop batteries. In the past, when I first learned how to remove the cells from these laptop batteries, I used to use a screwdriver and try to pry it out at the corner here. And uh, it takes a long time. Sometimes I just puncture myself and bleed all over the place. But there's a better way to do this. It's faster, it's safer, and you can literally remove these cells in seconds. There you go. One bang. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. And I also give you some other tips about salvaging these 18650 batteries. Now this method only works on the older laptop batteries or batteries that have cylindrical cells, mostly 18650 cells. These cells are covered by a metal case, so it's very sturdy. Over here we got a newer laptop battery. As you can see it's very thin and it doesn't have 1860 cell. It has pouch battery. You see there? And it's uh, covered by a plastic pouch and it looks like this one here. It's very thin plastic casing and it's very easy to be punctured. So the method I'm about to show you in this video only works on these batteries and it does not work on this battery. So over here I got four different kinds of laptop batteries and they all have 18650 cells in them and they all have one thing in common. There's a connector right here. This is where the battery is connected to the laptop computer. And this is the weak point. So what you want to do is you want to find a hard floor, a concrete or a brick floor and strike it right over here. And this is where it's going to crack first. And when you strike it on the ground, make sure that you strike it just enough force for it to crack open and not too much that would damage the cell inside the battery pack. So here we got a Dale battery. This is a long one. We got a connector right at the ends. So this is the easiest one to crack. So here we go. It's already cracked. That easy. That's it. So this one here is a Toshiba. Conductor is right here. There we go. One bang. Well, this is cheating. It's got two fake cells in here. So this battery pack only has four cells. So now I'm just gonna there we go. We're done. So this one here is another Dell battery pack with connector right at the corner. Maybe one more whack over here. There we go. Sit. And it's out. Very nice. There we go. How long does it take? Like five seconds. So over here I have a different kind of battery. Um, this is the Apple iBook battery pack. And the cells in here, they are arranged differently, uh, different than this. Usually they are arranged in a long fashion like this one. But this one here is different, so let me peel this off here. Show you the inside of this battery pack. Okay, so over here you see there are four cells that's arranged in a horizontal 
uh, position but there are two cells that are in vertical position so it's pretty hard to crack open this cell and it's very sturdy so if I try to bang it on the floor like this I'm gonna run the risk of damaging this cell right here so for this battery pack I'm gonna use my vise to break it and first I need to remove this plastic cover on the top here so that's out now I know that I can bend it right here and right here now I'm gonna put on my vise and then I use my pair of pliers and then just crack right on the top here okay, just like that that's one now I'm gonna turn it this way I know I can bend it right here on the top so put my vise and for this um, you are clamping on the battery so make sure that you don't do it too tight just enough so that you don't crush the battery okay so what you do is that's it yeah, I can turn it I don't know this way and peel it up again just like that now it's out You can see this one is easy to crack. It's not the same time in the same So this is a very contact, it's very little, so I just have to make it right over here. That's it. So this is a lovely battery, it's normal, but it has to be a battery, it's two layers, quite heavy. That's it, one hit. Crack, one more time. Another question you might have is, do you have to remove the welding spot on the terminal of the battery? Well, the answer is depends. For me, up to this point so far, I've never had to remove this welding spot on the terminal here. Because most of the time, I just use a soldering iron and solder all my cells together. But if you use a spot welder, you probably have to smooth out the terminal. And what I use is just a Dremel tool and then just uh, smooth out the terminals uh, before I spot weld them. And one of the most important tools for this job is a good wire cutter. And what I have here is a Gate Master wire cutter. It's got very sharp and very uh, thin blades. So I can squeeze in very small cracks like this one here. See how tight it's welded on the battery. And just lift this up and just peel it off just like that and uh, it saves me a lot of time and as a comparison this is a different cutter this is made by cobalt just a regular cutter and I cannot do the same thing with this cutter um, I cannot squeeze in here in the crack between the welding spot and the battery to pull out the nickel strip whereas with this one I can just squeeze it in here and peel it out very quickly 
so I would recommend something like this again it's made by gate and uh, you can search on eBay uh, gate wire cutter uh, these are a bit more expensive but it's worth every penny I have used this particular one and I have cut through thousands of these cells and it's still good as new the blades are still very sharp and that's it for now those are just a few tips I have for you for salvaging these laptop batteries if you have other tips and uh, would like to share I would love to hear from you so please write in the comment below right, that's it for now thanks for watching and I will see you next time